Welcome to Dino World is the official game of Gen Can 2017 and is available for free download. Designed by James O'Connor with art by Beth Sobel. All that's needed to play is the free player sheet, a writing utensil, and three six-sided dice. It can be played with any amount of players other than zero. Using dice, you work to build your own Dino World Park, adding paths, buildings, and of course dinosaur enclosures. Attractions and dinosaurs connect to the path are worth fame points at the end of the game. Every time a dinosaur breaks out, it's worth negative points. The player with the most at the end of the game wins. Turns are broken down into phases. Acquisition phase. Roll dice equal to the highest park level in the game. Each park starts at level 1. Once a player has accessed all options in a level, they then open up the next level of attractions to all players and another die is added to the pool. When a die or dice are rolled, players use the numbers, either combining the total or using them individually, to link to a corresponding attraction by writing that number into the blank square next to it. Immediately, as well as when that number is rolled in future acquisition phases, a player must build the attractions by drawing it onto their map and writing in the corresponding pen letter in each square. Pens can be any shape. Dinosaurs have a specific amount of squares required to build their pen. Some of these attractions will give you special abilities, but point scoring attractions must be connected to the path leading to the entrance of your park or they will be worth zero fame at the end of the game. Path Phase In the path phase, the same die or dice results are used to add paths to your park. Consult the grid at the bottom of the player sheet to see what types of path you must draw onto your map. The path icon can be rotated any way you like and can be placed anywhere, not needing to be connected to anything else. So you can place a path and plan to connect it at a later point. Security Phase now take two dice and roll them. Add the numbers together and consult the security panel. If the number you rolled corresponds to any dino pens in your park, cross out one square from each pen of that type of dinosaur. Then consult the dinosaur's pen's damage limit. If it has been met or exceeded, cross out all remaining squares in that pen, because the dinosaur has escaped. All adjacent buildings also get one square crossed out, potentially causing a cascade of escaped dinosaurs. For each escape, a player puts one check on their breakout tracker at the top of the sheet. Special Buildings uh, There are a number of special buildings that I'll go over briefly, all of which have to be built in accordance to the shape indicated on the player sheet. Attraction If this building is attached to the path and is undamaged at the end of the game, you earn two points. Visitor Center This building must be attached to the path leading from the entrance to be used. Once built, you can use this building to re-roll any die. Each visitor center can only be used four times. Security. When you assign a number to security, you are able to mitigate the damage done during the security phase. If your security number is rolled, fill in a pen letter slash circle on the security panel. You must fill these in order either from the very top or the very bottom of the chart and work your way towards the middle from either end. Now, when that number is rolled in the security phase, no damage is dealt. Operations. This building does not need to be attached to the path. It can be used three times to modify the dice plus or minus one number. When the ability is used, cross out one square. Fuse box. Fuse boxes do not need to be connected to the path. These boxes can absorb damage. When damage would be dealt to a pen or building, you can apply it to a fuse box instead. When any player is unable to place an attraction or path, or when a player has had a third dinosaur escape from their park, the round finishes and the game ends. Players add up their score. Each dinosaur attraction that is still intact and is connected to the path earns the fame points listed to it in their star icon. Players also earn two fame points for each attraction building connected to the path. Points are removed for breakouts and the player with the most fame wins.